phone call from Tory Lanez in prison? Well, it appears he is not about to just fold his hands in prison and participate in some rap battles. After the rapper's verdict in December 2022, it seems there is more information that the public didn't know about, and now it's coming up. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what's really happening to Tory Lanez in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Tory Lane's Mishandling of an Unlicensed Gun Megan Pete, popularly known as Megan the Stallion, suffered a life-threatening injury at the hands of Daystar Peterson, popularly known as Tory Lane's, in July 2020, during a Hollywood Hills party. Five shots were fired at the feet of the female rapper Megan the Stallion by Tory Lane's, and this led to a whole movie for the year 2022. Tory couldn't get past the long hands of the law as the jury found him guilty on all charges at his trial in Los Angeles. He is possibly facing up to 23 years in prison and could also be deported back to his home country, Canada. Well, this ain't good news for the family and lovers of the rapper, but Megan can't say the same. The jury got it right. I'm thankful there is justice for Meg. Megan's attorney, Alex Spiro, said in a statement after the verdict was announced, Alex Spiro may truly be happy that justice got served, and I bet the better half of America would want him to defend their cases now. Tory Lanez's phone call as evidence Tory Lanez behind bars doesn't make any of the go away. It's even worse than what was expected. Everyone might have thought that since the verdict had been announced, people would go back to their daily lives and move on like nothing happened. But Tory got kicked in the balls harder than he would have imagined. His phone call to Meghan's former friend, Kelsey Harris, was released, and I bet no one saw this coming. After over a week since the jury found Tory Lanez guilty of three counts in the trial, different things have been happening, from his fan base trying to get a different outcome to his father letting the world in on a different conspiracy theory. But this call is the least expected one of them all. Have you been wondering what really hit the nail on the head and gave Tory's case away in front of the jury? Well, he just gave himself up for making this call. The exhibits of evidence used in the case finally surfaced online after the case was closed. Deputy District Attorneys Alexander Bott and Kathy Ta showed the jury 47 exhibits to push for Tory's conviction involving the infamous call. Although the call Tory made to Kelsey didn't involve an admission of the crime, it pointed fingers at him for doing it, as it included an apology to Kelsey and Megan. The call that was placed to Kelsey at about 9.05 a.m. recorded Tory's voice saying, I know she, probably never, ever gonna talk to me ever again. The rapper continued, But I just want you to know, bruh, I was just so drunk. I ain't even know what the was going on, bruh, like, I'd never do some like that. I was just so drunk. I just didn't understand what the was going on, bruh. Regardless, that's not going to make anything right, and that's not going to make my actions right. During the trial, Deputy District Attorney Alexander Bott made the court understand that the call was enough evidence to justify Tory Lanez firing the shots, and argued that it would take mental gymnastics to interpret it as anything other than an apology for a shooting at Megan the Stallion. Alexander Bott said, The first call Peterson makes in custody is to Kelsey. What's on the forefront of his mind? the event that put Megan in the hospital. It's safe to say almost anyone not on Tory's side would concur with this fact and support the guilty verdict that he was served. Tory later mentioned in the call the argument that occurred before the shooting, but added, I don't even remember what we was even arguing about. After a few minutes, Tory asked Kelsey to contact his security team to bail him out. Probably, Kelsey was watching out for herself as she told Tory that news of the shooting had already begun to spread online, even though there is no names released yet. Not so long after, the rapper got bailed and his life went fine for a while. Tory had long denied that he shot Megan after the party, but during the two-week trial, the rapper refused to testify in his defense. I bet Tory had some real faith in his million-dollar attorneys, but oops, that didn't work out well for him in the end. Other Shreds of Evidence Against Tory Lanes. Not only did the phone call Tory made to Kelsey from jail surface on the internet, but there's also a load of other stuff that the public didn't know existed during the trial. The latest piece of evidence after the jail call are graphic photos of Kelsey Harris's injuries and photos of other evidence used in the case. Blood-covered foot also surfaced online. 
along with pictures of shell casings at the crime scene. The LAPD body cam footage was also included, and a neighbor's surveillance video from the scene came up. While Kelsey played games and chose sides to be on till the end of the trial, she too got herself deep in the case, both verbally and physically. The photos of Kelsey revealed that she also had some bruises sustained during the altercation with Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. The photos showed colors black and blue on her thighs, knees, and shins. This can only be possible from the scuffle of that night. However, that's not all. Kelsey is also seen with patches of missing hair from what could possibly be her scalp if it wasn't a wig. These photos spinning around know no limits. Even pictures of Tory Lanez and his driver Jaquan Smith came up and images from inside the car. The pictures in the car show a suitcase splattered with blood and a gun sitting on the floor. These photos just really couldn't be thrown out of the window, and the jury also couldn't have been able to take their eyes off of this evidence. A jury handed down guilty verdicts on charges of assault with a firearm causing great bodily injury, possession of a concealed, loaded, and unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. Tory Lanez was taken into custody after he was convicted. The rapper will return to court for his sentencing on January 25th. Hopefully, it turns out a little better for the rapper. Tory Lanez's Fans Petition not everyone had a good night's sleep after Tory's verdict was passed in court, and these include his fans. His fans are unwilling to rest until they see their favorite rapper become a free man again. They have formed an alliance with his dad who had different conspiracy theories, and they are now trying for an appeal with a petition that could help the convicted rapper. In the petition, the writers focus on the integrity of both the jury and the prosecutors while claiming that Tory's victim, Megan, lied on the stand. The petition also includes the conspiracy theories that Tory's father, Sunstar Peterson, said in court after his son was taken into custody, which blamed Jay-Z and Beyonce for his son's conviction. The petition called Tory Lanez's conviction a true miscarriage of justice, just as his father yelled in court and claimed that the state did not prove its case. It also claimed the two weeks trial was a circus of speculation, insufficient evidence, inconsistencies, and drunken memories left us without much moral certainty of any truth. The petition further accused Megan and her former assistant and next friend Kelsey Harris of lying under oath while urging that they both be charged with perjury. Thousands of people signed the petition in just a few weeks that it came up, and the number was steadily rising. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.